Today, 100,000 Americans are waiting on a kidney transplant. But there are only enough donor kidneys for 11,000 transplants each year. 15% of people on the waiting list will die before they get a transplant. More living kidney donors are needed. But finding a living donor isn't always enough. 50% of the time, the donor and recipient aren't a match. Matching comes down to two factors, HLA and blood type. Every human cell has a label that identifies it as self. The immune system goes around checking IDs. If it doesn't find a self tag, it attacks. If a donor or recipient have identical HLA and blood type, that's a perfect match. But even siblings only have a 1 in 4 chance of matching perfectly. UAB has spent 10 years developing two programs to make more matches and to help more patients receive the gift of life. These are patients who have potential living donors but have been found to be incompatible with those living donors. And their only other option if we didn't offer our paired exchange and incompatible programs would be for them to sit on the deceased donor waiting list to wait for a deceased donor kidney to become available. Depending on what their blood group is, some of those waits can be as long as 10 to 12 years in the state of Alabama. Uh, and if they're sensitized, they may wait for many, many years and never find a match. Paired Exchange uses a UAB-maintained database to match up incompatible donor-recipient pairs. The Incompatible Transplant Program uses special drugs and other treatments prior to surgery to overcome blood group and or HLA incompatible barriers. In December 2013, UAB surgeons began what has turned into the world's largest kidney transplant chain at a single site. It all started with a single donor, Paula Koch. She didn't know anyone specific who needed a kidney. She just wanted to help. I'd like to encourage you to take that a step further and donate your kidney to a stranger if you can. Koch's kidney went to a woman in need from Shalimar, Florida. That woman's daughter gave her kidney to a recipient from Mobile, and the Mobile recipient's friend gave to a woman from Quinton, Alabama. One day, six surgeries, three lives changed. The doctors aim to continue the program as long as possible, and when this chain ends, they are ready to start another one. And at the end of the day, this is a story of hope. Hope for all of those patients that are there, they're hopefully hearing the story. All of those donors there that may have thought about or wanted to do this and can't do it for whatever reason, it's hope for us to be able to help those 3,500 patients that we have on our list and make that list as small as we can.